In this video, I want to help you define a point that will travel in a circular path. Now, my circle right here has a radius of 1, yours will have a radius of 2, so you'll have to take a slightly different approach. In my case right here, if I want a point that travels along this circle, thinking of my unit circle, I think the x positions are represented by the cosine of a given angle. My angle is A, so I start there, and the y positions are the sine of that angle. If I label this point Q, I can see it there on the graph. If I toggle my angle, I'll see that Q travels around the circle. There it goes, right? Now my A value um, determines the location of Q, right? Q is the cosine of the angle, comma, the sine of the angle. If you think about why this works with what we know about in these triangles here, the sine of the angle being the opposite over the hypotenuse and the cosine of the angle being the adjacent over the hypotenuse, um, this definition of cosine comes from that, except my hypotenuse is kind of hidden here. My hypotenuse is 1. So you want to mess around with different numbers here to see what gets your point Q to travel around your circle with a radius of 2. It's just a slight modification. Thanks.